Uh, hello everyone, uh, it's my honor to be here to be able to share some of my uh, dreams, my experience with you. Some of you may know me through music or movies or some of you may not know me at all. Um, I'm just another kid with big dreams. I started this company, it was 2003, I believe. Uh, I was 23 years old and at that time, I just thought I, I, I wanted to learn something. Apart from my core business, which is uh, singing, uh, movies, I wanted to learn something more. What I'm learning is actually linked to my core business. I've been doing movies and commercials and music, music videos for a long time, but how can I enhance that visual effect? And I really think that, you know, there is a high demand for post-production, and that's where we come in. Hong Kong PO is doing very well. Uh, our sub-branch in Shanghai is doing very well. Uh, we're opening in May in, in Beijing, and I hope, I hope it's going to do as well. But it's also linked. When I start out, started off this company, I actually I sold one of my houses, and I, uh, I leased it to, 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 to the bank, and I borrowed money from the bank to start this company off with uh, four people. And now we, we have over 130 staff. But at that time, was it, was it a gamble? Yes, it was. But I also had three commercials in hand that I talked to the producers and the director that if I do this company thing, would I be able to also do the post? So I had about a year's overhead before I opened, the, uh, opened my company. So I really don't want the, the, the wrong message to go out to, for, to the kids and say, oh, look, Nick, all he did, he, was, he just gambled his house for, for, for a great future. No, I didn't. No. Although, yes, it's a gamble, but I had a, kind of a safety net behind it. You know, I really don't know what my best uh, leadership qualities are or, or, or my worst. I think these are just, uh, I think these should be complimented or criticized by other people. And it's not for someone, you know, as one person should say, am I a good father? Am I a good uh, human being? Uh, you can say all that, but it would mean nothing. It should be said by my staff. I'm, I'm trying to do what I think is just the necessity of a person. What we want, mutual respect. We want to be cared. We want to be, to be loved, to be respected. And, and that's why in my, in my company, we have the least hierarchy problem. I would cook for my staff. I, we have our own uh, soccer team. We have, we have our own badminton team. We have our own mountain biking team. We just went on a big vacation together. We do all the activities together, and you know they would they would literally throw a big bucket of ice in my face, freezing cold, and knowing that we're having fun. But after we have fun, we all go back to work. Or you know, another great example I think is when we were picking out uh, the new office. I actually, I actually called on a, vaca a va vacation and said, okay, today we're gonna, we're gonna stop working. Uh, so what are we gonna do? Um, we're gonna go look for a new building, for a new office. And they didn't know they were involved. And they asked why. I said, well, I said, look, I'm not gonna be the one sitting here 18 hours per day looking at the same screen forever. It's you. I wanna make this your home. You gotta be comfortable to stay here and you got to feel that it's part of you so you're actually actually looking forward to, to to go to work and that's when that that will also stimulate your creativity thinking and then the job will get better I think creative thinking is is probably the most you know, the most important thing right now. Ideas are actually selling a lot more than hardware. You know, right now I I know I have three light bulbs you know shining at me. I have uh, three machines shooting me at the same time, but you know they're just hardware and. 
creative thinking. All right, let me put an example as um, Angry Bird. Now that's creative thinking. Now how far has Angry Bird gotten you know, in the world now as popularity wise than these three cameras and light bulbs? And the thing about creative, uh, creative thinking is it's all you, it, it's no one else. No one can take that away from you. And it's for you to say yes or no, how or when, where, why. It's, it's your label forever and ever. And that you never know, it might just take you far away. To train up your creativity, I would, I would have to say, as what Bruce Lee said, again, you know, to be honest with yourself, what do you love most? Because I, I, I truly believe that if you have the most utmost passion for something, then you would know it deeply, you would train it every day, uh, you would understand it, and then, therefore, um, you would think from that, that topic, and then you would thrive for excellence. How do I find my passion? And that I, I, I think I would have to quote Bruce Lee. Uh, to be honest to oneself, now that is very hard to do. You know, I mean, I, I, I watch his interviews over and over again. And now that guy is charismatic, confident, not to the point where he's, he's arrogant. He's a philosopher. He's a well-known martial artist and a, um, and an actor. I think passion, ultimately, you gotta be really, really honest to yourself what you like the most. And by that I mean, you cannot say, I love my post-production company, but then I also wanna join that karaoke function tonight, or, or um, have dinner with my girlfriend. There are sacrifices to make. Now that means you really want something that bad. I really resent the, anyone that, that, that puts you off and tell you that you cannot do something, because nobody should be able to tell you you, sh you cannot do something only because they cannot achieve their goals does not mean that you cannot achieve your goals. I convey my vision just simply by going through all the departments, um, sharing my thoughts with them, openly speaking my mind with them and ultimately we're you know the average age in my company is is 28 to 30, 34 I think something like that. So actually we're, we're all pretty young and they would speak their mind freely and I think that's very important. I hope to motivate uh, entrepreneur behavior by setting an example by myself. Let's say if I were to come here today um, four hours late straight for four months I'm pretty sure that my staff is going to be here late for four hours or they would, they're, they're going to know that my boss doesn't you know, give a crap, so why should I? But if I'm here first person, first day, every morning, and I set that example for a period of time, they know that this guy really cares. And then they're gonna be here, and we're gonna share our thoughts, we're gonna have breakfast together, we're gonna do a lot of things together, and things should go well you know, from there. Five years ago, there was another company that was willing to pay five times the payroll that I'm paying right now to my staff just to, you know, have them walk away from my company. Out of 20 staff, only one left. I asked the question I asked, so really, guys, what is the main reason? You know, give me in a word. Why are you staying here? And it surprised me to, to, to actually hear this from them. All they just said was, you know, when we work here, we know how to smile. And that is when I really believed that I have succeeded in, my, in the managing field. If that person actually feels that, wow, I didn't think you would care about me, or, or, or he would actually see my problems, my, my worries before I even approached them then that trust is actually raised to another level. 
And I, I think that's how you know my staff and I work. This company is not doing anything different or special uh, that, that other companies are not doing. We're just doing what a lot of people have forgotten. We're just treating people as human beings. Um, with care, with you know, with, with, with love, and I think a lot of companies, because uh, they're growing so fast right now, they're lacking that 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 care between them, the friendship. I mean, the word just to lead is not just to lead, but to set yourself as an example, to be able to to, to call on harsh uh, decisions, to be able to motivate, to dedicate, and inspire. Now all that together, discipline, self-discipline, you know, ultimately, is 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 all these virtues together, elements together, is a leader. If I were to give some advice um, on how to develop your leadership elements or you know, your own self, first of all, I mean, really be honest with yourself. Know what you love the most have the most passion for and do not lie i mean you can you can you can sleep on a lie forever but then you'll never be good at it because you don't love it you got to love something enough to to devote to dedicate and then sacrifice all the all the all the other stuff that you don't want to be able to reach the goal and secondly never never duplicate or replicate let's say today you see a uh, some the, 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 this kid called Nicholas C sitting right in front of you I'm not asking you to embrace my personality or my jobs or my work I'm asking you just to see what you can pick off of this guy and then put on yourself or maybe say that's totally not me I'm not going to do what he, he's going to do uh, for a living or or how to lead I think he's wrong that's fine also not to embrace everything not to replicate or duplicate but really find yourself but through that you must be honest and if you have all that down that that might be just be in a sentence but if you have all that down and it's really from here you will lead